Hello one and all, this is Wolfstar Gaming, and welcome back to more Robotics Notes Elite. Uh, last time, we got into the juiciness of reading the Kimijima report at number the first entry of it anyway, because it has the zero one after it, so there has to be more of those reports somewhere in Tanigashima. If I had to guess, it's strewn around Tanigashima in different places. And before we get into this episode, I wanted to bring up I was a little worried that the video would not come out because when I was editing it, I don't know what I did, but somehow my commentary, the audio of my commentary would not play it. The, in my timeline, it got completely completely grayed out the video would play but my commentary would not so it's like you just had the game audio but my voice was non-existent <laughs> you could say and i'm like what happened and i tried to look up the problem online to see if there was any fix and I really couldn't find anything that was similar to what was going on so I wound up having to re-import the audio file for my commentary into a final cut and I had to re-edit my commentary for the video. And I was so worried that the, uh, the, the same problem was going to happen again. Fortunately, it didn't. And by some kind of miracle, I managed to get last video out at a decent enough time granted I don't really have a set schedule for my LPing but still it worked itself out and actually as far as a set schedule goes you know I have been recording and uploading robotics notes during the middle of the week and you know I find that works well and I know I could be doing that much more frequently I do want to do that uh, but as I said in my update video I had made a new PSN account and I've been going through all my previous games that I've played to re-get trophies and I am getting closer and closer to having that done I just need to get through uh, one and a half games <laughs> and uh, some cleanup with another game you know some post game and then I can seriously start getting more into my LPing look forward to that you know, for me uploading more, a little more frequently and and you know I'm still trying to figure out a set schedule you know things are still up in the air with a set schedule because of uh, me having a full-time job that may change though uh, I may be able to play and upload more frequently at some point. I'm not entirely sure when. 
but there there could be a possibility i'll keep you guys informed it's like you can i mean you can follow me on facebook for any uh gaming updates i know i could also use youtube uh you know but if it's just something quick and short i'll use facebook if it's something i want to talk about at length you know like the update video I did, I'll talk kind of like directly to you guys in a video. Anyway, with that out of the way, let's actually get to uh, what's going on with uh, Mizuka and Kaito here. Domo, Kyomo, Kirede. Oh, flatterer you are, Kaito. <laughs> uh, she's not impressed. Mizuka-san gives me a bored look, then goes back to sorting sales slips. Sorry, I had to cough there for a second. Sponsor-sagashi-no-kenkai? Oh, that's right. I had her doing that, too. I don't remember that. Really? The sponsor search. Yeah, I, I don't quite remember that. Then again, I've been doing this only weekly. I wonder how things went with the Space Candy Company. Oh yeah. Yeah, that that was uh, an interesting exchange with uh, Akiho and uh, Michi's uncle. It's like, yeah, Kaito wasn't there for that, unfortunately. So, Akiho kind of needs to fill him in, doesn't she? Has Akiho made any progress with the president? Uh, from memory, not very much. Oh god. Oh god, oh, okay. Give me, uh, what is it called again? The passion fruit bun? Is that right? That uh, monstrosity. Forgive me if I, uh, forgive me if I sound a little out of it. I had a very trying day at work. For just a moment, Mizuka-san's languid eyes regained their brilliance. Mizuka-san is <laughs> Yet you're willing to do it, Kaito! あんたは地元名物の特産品を買うことで地域振興の役に立ってるんだよ。立派じゃないか。and that's one way to put it, I guess. Yeah, I have a feeling no. Yeah. <laughs> this woman is a demon. Alright, it's... Kaito's call, I guess, uh, but he is willing to do it, every now and then at least. How is this time any different? Uh, that's one way to do it. Ah, 
he does kind of have, have a hell of a mouth on him. <laughs> Mizuka-san shrugs and stops sorting the sales slips. Nailed it. I lean in closer to Mizuka-san. You gonna kiss her? とある人物のことを何となく調べてるんだ。今回は水川さんも知らないってんならそれ以上無理して調べる気はない。もったいぶってるんじゃないよ。こっちは忙しいんだ。You don't seem super busy. I mean, if you're willing to talk while trying to sort through the uh, sales slips, uh, that doesn't really show me that she's really busy. How so? I'm literally the only other person in the store. Aside from Mizuka, yeah. <laughs> I don't think we've seen one other customer in here the times we've come in here. I mean, what? I mean, how old is Mizuka exactly? I mean, wouldn't she have been pretty young at the time when uh, the Kim, Ki, when Kimijima Ko was around? The very moment I say his name. Oh. Silence speaks volumes. And this silence is deafening. All the color drains from Azuka san's face, almost as if someone poked a hole in it. Interesting way to put that. I've never seen her react like this before. She has a very stern look on her face. You know, like she's like not messing around. You know, that kind of look. I've never seen her react like this before. I might be as shocked as she is. Does she actually know this guy? Where? Interesting reaction. Interesting thing to say. Uh? My god, her voice. It got like super serious and, you know, kind of. I don't know, like. I like her face, stern. I didn't fail to notice that Mizuka-san's lips were trembling slightly as she muttered this. She definitely knows him. How does she know him, though? And I still want to know, like, how old she is. I, I, I feel like I... Need to know the her age, so I have something to go off of of how old she was when Kimiji, Kimijima Ko was alive and you know at working at the uh, station in the uh, Uchigooka Park. High rise? Oh, exosca- oh! Misune! I'm from her point of view! Interesting! Alright! The elevator door opens heavily. The office that I step into is deserted. 
the 17th floor of the Exoskeleton Company HQ in Aoyama is occupied by the Hug Test Run Room. While I'm, while I'm usually doing PR work on TV, my real occupation is as a test pilot for the Hug prototypes. Test pilot. Okay. Three million Hug units have been sold worldwide, but only a small number of the existing series models are for sale. Most prototypes never see the light of day, undergoing repeated tests here in the test run room. It's closing hours, so the lights are off in the test chamber. The pilots who work overtime are nowhere to be found. Is anyone here? Aside from her? I mean, maybe her boss. What was his name again? I'm trying to remember his name. I checked beforehand, but I nonetheless use my phone droid to reconfirm that nobody is left in the office. Okay, she's the only one here. Things remain unchanged, which means there's only one person still here. I head straight to the section chief's room. Oh, okay, so there, there is one other person here, not just her. Is the chief her boss, then? The office door is wide open. I look inside the room to see Sawada. That was his name. Sawada. That was it. I look inside the room to see Sawada sitting on his chair, looking at a monitor mounted to the wall. I then step into the room. I wonder, I, I kind of doubt it, but yeah, I can't bring up her phone droid. It seems I can only bring up Kaito's phone droid to get the geotags. No, I can't do that with anyone else. It's like, why only Kaito can I do that with and not anyone else? I then step into the room. I close the door behind me. Okay, it, I swear it looks like he has a half silver hair and half black. But at the same time, maybe that's only supposed to be like uh, you know, like the black side is supposed to be like combed back, and the silver and the silver side is like, of course, not combed back. So it, it just kind of makes me think of you know Cruella Deville in a way. It's like, are you a type of Cruella Deville? <laughs> Sawada gives me a quick glance then appears to point me to the monitor with a jerk of his chin. On the monitor is footage from the Robo One Grand Finals that took place the other day. Yeah, it's like they were watching that. I remember. But it's not the footage aired on TV. It's video taken from the venue's guest seats that day. And they were guests there then? Because it, it, it seemed like they were. But at the same time, it kind of felt like they weren't. You know, like they were off in like some other room. And just watching them on, and just watching it on a monitor. He probably acquired it from someone in the audience. He truly is a cunning man. Does she look up to him? I mean, it kind of seems like she does. But I... Given his just... His posture and his... 
face. I can see that he's a cunning man, but at the same time, I have a feeling that he's not someone you want to mess with. Mitoko. See what? I mean, they were there together watching it. Yeah. Oh, that's what he's talking about. It's obvious which of the two operators he's referring to. Yeah, Kaito. Only a bandeva. オペレーターが映っていなかったからな。映っているものを探すのは骨が折れた。なんか、how much what about him? Sawada is fiddling with a pen in his hand. He points it at the monitor. やはり一時的にではあるが、上気を一した動きを見せている。あの時感じた違和感は気のせいではなかった。It wasn't your imagination, no. <laughs> I mean, hmm. I wonder then, was Sawada one of the people on the ferry at the time when that solar whatever happened? I w hmm. So does he like have a special power too? I wonder. Because I, I feel like it would take someone who has a special ability to notice someone else having a special ability, you know, like Kaito's. So, I want to say that, but... At the same time, I'm just kind of making a crapshoot about this Sawada guy. I mean, we've only seen him one other time so far. And I really don't have much to go on. It seemed that way, yes. その少年についての調査報告をまとめました。ご覧になりますか？Okay, I know I've heard Misane's voice actress before. I can't quite pinpoint it though.随分時間がかかったな。どういう意味でしょうか？ じゃあ、すいするつもりはない。報告を聞こう。データを転送します。It's like I, I'm kind of like pausing after every line Misane says just to take in her voice because I, it, it's it's bugging me. It's bugging the hell out of me. Because I know I've heard her voice. And I can't quite place where. I fiddle with my phone droid. Sawada receives it and looks at his own phone droid screen. Yashio Kaito, Genzai 18. 2001年5月5日生まれ鹿児島県種子島出身職業は学生 
9年前のアネモネ号事件の被害者の一人です。Yeah, and Misune was there for that too. Did she get a special power herself? I mean, it happened when Akiho and Kaito were quite young. And Misune was with them, wasn't she? It's like, what would her special ability be? Now that I'm thinking about it. s w a t a s sharp gaze pierces through me. There w e I know Chojin taking out of Kinua. Weapon of silence. What's the weapon of silence? That, that, that's actually kind of a cool name. And I want to know what this weapon does exactly. Hi. I mean, I take it that it, like, silences you in some capacity. <laughs> Yashio Kaito no Hansha Shinke no Kugiki na Joshua. Yeah, his、uh, reflexes are really good when he's in slow mo mode. <laughs> And that does make him appear to be like superhuman. Jikken no Koi Sho des. Experiment. So the whole thing was an experiment and not some kind of weird accident? Huh. Oh! Phase three troposphere regulator.、Uh, there we go. Ah, <laughs>、uh, the cicada is buzzing.、Uh, who am I? Akio, okay. <laughs> It's like I had to wait for the trophy to go away. <laughs> My lovely custom oiling gun build one.、Now、only once per month? I thought she would oil him much more frequently than that. Huh. I see what they did here. We go from Misune's perspective to Akiho's perspective. It's like they're sisters. So that, that transition makes a lot of sense. Once I start, it takes about an hour of solid work. Maybe it's because it's hotter than last month, but、uh, I notice I'm soaked in sweat. Kind of echoey in here. I, I swear I heard like an echo in there a little bit. Actually, I did maintenance in my school uniform last month and Kai almost saw my underwear. <laughs> I mean, it, is that a. Is it super embarrassing for Akiho for Kaito to see her under underwear? I mean, they've known, her, known each other since they were kids, so. <laughs> I feel like that's a reasonable question. But today, I'm in my work clothes, so I've got nothing to worry about. Plus, it doesn't matter how much I sweat. I put the oiler back on the shelf. I pop open a lukewarm skull that's been sitting around for a few hours. Ugh. I hate drinking lukewarm anything. <laughs> I prefer my drinks cold.、Uh, unless it's, you know, tea or, like, apple cider. t 
the wind is pretty strong today. My sweat actually cools me down, making me feel a little chilly. I lean up against the hangar wall and look up at the incomplete Gunbuild 1. A lot has changed in a month. How so, exactly? I went to Tokyo, did well at Robo 1, and the club has a new member. Okay, yeah. It, that, that is uh, quite productive. <laughs> yeah. That, that is uh, a lot to change in a month. I guess from her per from her perspective. Oh. <laughs> it's like in due time, Akiho. Still stored with its upper and lower body separate, gun build one obviously doesn't reply. I pick up the notebook sitting on the shelf and flip through the pages. I kind of almost forgot who I was voicing. <laughs> this is the production no notebook for the Gunbill project. It's basically the last nine years of Robot Club history. I imagine that notebook is a very, very thick at this point. Completion of Gun Build 1 is, as of 2019, stuck at around 70%. Okay, 70%. I mean, that's a good deal done. But not quite there to be finished. It's like she needs a lot of help. No new sections have been added after I became the president. The upper body section stands upright, but it doesn't have arms or a head. It's basically just a big block. A big block, okay. <laughs> I, I'm just trying to picture that. The design on the chest kind of looks like a pair of eyes, so the whole torso resembles a face. The armor is pretty much complete. Most of the upper body is occupied by the cockpit. Jeez, how big is the cockpit then? Though I guess it'd be more accurate to say that the column-shaped cockpit is covered and hidden by the armor. The cockpit hasn't been wired up yet, so all it has is a seat with a backrest. The arms and head haven't been added yet since they're not important. They're just decorative. They don't move. Uh, I guess that's just something they need to work on, on getting Gun Build 1 to be able to move all, all of his limbs. For the record, both arms are completely complete. Com completely complete? That's good. Already complete. They've been sitting in a corner of the hangar for years. As a personal aside, we definitely have to reproduce Gunvarel's trademark scarf. His scarf. So, uh, how good as how good is she at uh, making a scarf? Then can she sew? But by my calculations, I'll need a long cloth around seven to eight meters in length, so it'll be hard on the budget. I mean. It could be a lot cheaper to just make one. You know, sew it, as I said. <laughs> the lower body is lying down on the floor. Although if they do sew it... 
how long would that take? I mean, she wants it done by February, right? In time for the big uh, expo. It's like, if she starts now, would she be able to finish it in time? The lower body is lying down on the floor. The main section of gun build one isn't the upper body, it's this one. The greatest and sole function of gun build one is to walk after all. The legs are extremely important. Okay. That's the big thing then. Get it to walk. So in, so if Kaito becomes the pilot for Gun Varel, or Gun Build 1, I'm not entirely sure which name to use because they flip-flop calling it Gun Build 1 and calling it Gun Varel. Uh, so I guess I'll flip-flop as well. Uh... But anyway, with Kaito being the pilot for it at some point, eventually, he has to get to walk. So, what is it going to take to get him to be fully functional to walk then? It's like, do they have all of the necessary parts from the ro from the robot doctor and such for that to be a uh, for that to be a possibility for it for him to walk Although, only the right leg is complete. Oh. <laughs> only the right leg. They still need to work on the left leg. Okay. It's supposed to have six servo motors, but I still only have three. That's why I can't build the left leg. And how long will it take to build the left leg? I mean, that's... Okay, so six server motors, only have three. Do they have the money to get three more? Out of everything on Gun Build 1, those cost the most. The servo motors are too big, so they have to be custom made. Oh, custom made. And custom made ones, I bet, are super, super expensive. By the way, the one making them for us is none other than the doc at the robot clinic. Of course. I mean, who else is going to make them? That oldie but goodie... <laughs> That oldie but goodie is really skilled when it comes to these things. I'm sure he is. But I can't pay him back, which means I still can't go over there yet. If I showed up at the robot clinic without his money, he'd ice me in a heartbeat. Anyway, that's why progress on Gun Build 1 has been less than satisfactory. Oh, I hope she's not getting a little disillusioned here. I mean, that... That doesn't sound like the Akiho we've come to know so far. It's frustrating that I've barely had anything to add to the production notebook. I sigh, then look outside. The boys, Kai and Subaru, are playing with their hobby robot... Hobby robots. It's like, typo. 
They both have serious expressions on their faces. Of course they do. <laughs> They have zero intention of helping me with maintenance. Something really has to give. Akio needs the help. And both Kaito, Kaito and Subaru don't want to have anything to do with helping Akiho. It's really kind of not just frustrating, but also sad. That she's not getting the help that she needs. It's like, I would help her. But in some ways, that's kind of refreshing. It was this past spring when the robot club dropped down to two members. I'd be out of breath in the hangar, covered in sweat and oil, while Kai sat around, happily playing games. Even though Subaru's joined the crew, nothing has changed. So, Despite last month being so eventful, nothing's changed at all. She she did a complete 180. It's like she she went from saying that a lot has changed since last month to saying nothing has changed at all. I mean I I know it's a you know a woman's prerogative to change her mind, but you know that is a very quick uh. 180 that sh she just pulled. Are we really going to be able to complete Gun Build 1 before the expo? At the rate she's going with her only doing it? I don't think so. Like I said, she needs the help. What's, what's it gonna take for Kaito and Subaru to help her? Seriously. A that was a very strong wind sound. <laughs> a strong wind blows across the old airport apron. It's way too strong. Causing... Oh, no, wait. This is back to Kaito, isn't it? It's way too strong, causing M45 at my feet to shake and lean to the side. Subaru managed to support it with his hands before it topples over. The, the wind's strong enough to topple the hobby robots. I stretch out while still holding my phone droid, vacantly gazing out at the runway. The sky to the west is dyed light orange. Now oh, the sun setting. Subaru-kun, Robo-1,3回優勝した He did, didn't he? And just recently was his third time. I mean, that's... I, I'm sure that's an impressive feat for, you know, someone his age. I take it. Five million yen each time? That's a... that's a good amount of money, isn't it? It's like five million. How much is that in... dollars? I... I actually wanna... look this up real quick. 
Okay, so if I have this right, uh, 5 million yen in, in US dollars equals to a 45 billion of 913,250 dollars. That's a lot of money. Good for him. So what are you doing? Why are you taking it? I am. I imagine he saved most of it. You know, like for his future. I imagine he saved a lot of it to for his plans to go to college. But as we learned from last time his dad doesn't want him to go to college so if uh, if he doesn't wind up going to college where is all that money gonna go actually now that I'm thinking about it that would be a, a really good retirement fund Oh, really? He donated. Kept the bare minimum. What's the bare minimum then? And it, you know, I just, I, I just got a lot more of respect for Subaru. Donated the money. Most of it. That just shows me he's a, a really nice guy. You know, when we first met Subaru, he just came across as such a straight-laced, like, no-nonsense kind of guy. But as we've gone along, we've come to learn more about him and of uh, I'm starting to really find his character very interesting and with uh, getting his dad's perspective last time you know he's quickly becoming a very very interesting character And I'm starting to really, really like him. <laughs> Kaito. Really? You think that's a waste? Uh, oh, that's a fair point, I guess. Interesting. And what did they do with the remaining amount? M45 no parts day toka, ense hi toka ga hitsuyo ni natta toki ni, jimu kyoku ni renraku shite hiki dashite Huh. Alright then. Yeah, it, he's planned all this out. It, it is rather stoic. Uh, a, a true artisan? Um, I mean, I, I don't know if I'd call Subaru a true artisan, but it, you know, it's part way there, I guess. でもなんか事務局とべったりとも取れるけど、実は非意識してもらってたりするんじゃないの？Where are you going with this, Kaito? So, just joking. He sounded so serious about it. I, of all people, know how skilled he is. After our match, 
true. Ah, but she's not too cold. Too bad, Kun. So, just to the convenience store, just to buy some juice. Can't you get some? Wow, I can't recall a time more recently where I've heard the phrase "do me a solid." I don't think anyone says that phrase much anymore. Ore fruit sour melon. Ato Aki chan yo ni score mo. Ogoto ari shimasu. How come? Why do you refuse, Subaru? This is the direction Kaito is going to go with this. Senpai zura shinai de kuremasu ka? So you zen jidai de kina jouge kankei wa hedo ga demasu. Sore ni boku wa robobu ni nozon de haitta wake jya arimasen kara. ねえもう暑くない冷たいジュースを飲みたい気分でしょう自販機が近くにあればなほんと不便な場所だよ Why is Kaito trying to tempt Subaru? 僕にとっては理想的な環境ですが Really? The end The ideal environment? He likes it hot? All right. I mean, I he prefers it hot, I guess. I mean, that actually sounds a little like me. <laughs> I mean, I much prefer it being hot over cold, any day. Honky, they did. Eh, how many people are there? No one is in the place. Until now. こそこそ隠れて M45 をメンテしていたので In secret Right Because His father is very against Him、uh, Doing his robot stuff So of course Subaru would feel that He would have to do maintenance On his robot in secret マスクマンは大変だね。And、there's that too. His alter ego <laughs> has to protect his alter ego. <laughs> He might have reasons beyond that. ちなみにさ、こいつ全然動かないんだけど。For the last while now, no matter how much I tinker with my phone droid. M45 won't, not won't, doesn't budge. Subaru apparently spent the last few days implementing the KB control scheme into M45. Oh, and how did that go for him? Program のどこかにミスがあったか It is kind of a new kind of implement to put into a robot. So, I imagine he did have some difficulty, at least. さすがに一日じゃどうにもならんでしょう。俺にテストプレイさせるならさ、もうちょっと洗練させてから持ってきてよ。昨日、種ヶ島新さんのプログラムを真似て作ってみようと思ったんですが。But not quite, right? これは中途半端な知識では難しいかもと思い始めました。Right. So it and with his programming knowledge, y o u know, that's why he wants to be a robot engineer. That's why he's going to college for that, right? So he can program robots efficiently and effectively to the point where it just becomes like. A、uh, second knowledge for him. Brea, this is a good one. You are a good one. 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Kaito. <laughs> Specialty is hardware. And for since his specialty is hardware, that would be difficult. It's a fair excuse. I make my intent clear, and Subaru bites his lip, frustrated. Oh, really? With the frow, huh? What are you gonna do, Subaru? Oh, Judah! Hi! Oh. I hear a voice I wasn't expecting and turn around to find a tiny girl standing before me. When our eyes meet, she bows slightly. Hi! Do... I mean, she's in the same class as Subaru, right? I mean, they're both underclassmen to uh, to Kaito and Akio, right? Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Oh, Why are you saying this, Kaito? You've hung out around her before, and why are you bringing this up now? Oh, yeah, none of them Is he saying that with comparing her height to Subaru? Sorry, I don't know what you're saying. I don't know. Uh, he did say that. Uh, it's like, do you want to join Juna? Could really use another member. And I bet Juno would try and help Akiho more than Subaru and Kaito would. Tada, sono... Just what, Juna? <laughs> Trying to find an excuse not to study? Daitoku-san has a bashful expression on her face. <laughs> Man, I didn't think she'd actually show up. She must really have a lot of free time now that she's retired from the karate club. Re retired? What? I'm confused. This is my chance. When I forced Subaru into the club, I figured he'd have to follow Akio's orders. I'd be free as a bird to game. Yet, somehow I ended up playing hobby robot with him. Ah, you're kind of bonding in a way. <laughs> it, yet the bonding isn't going the way that should be when you're trying to bond with someone. They more like butt heads than anything. Hell, I can't even monitor, monitor Akiho all that much now. Everything blew up in my face. It is what it is, Kaito. Deal with it. 
But if I have this stray little lamb watching over Akiho, I can at least relax a little. Though she seems a wee bit unreliable. I, I, I want Juna to show him up on his thought process about her. But hey, since she did karate, she should have a sol she should have solid reflexes. Well, yeah. She might even be able to take my place at Gunbuild 1's pilot as Gunbuild 1's pilot. Um I'm not sure about that. I mean, we all saw how effortlessly he was able to control the Tanigashi machine. So Kaito is naturally the best person to be the pilot, not Juna. I made it sound all grand and stuff, but... We aren't actually doing much as a club. Maybe right now. But, uh, you know, this is still the beginning stages of the game, really. I mean, sure, we just started Chapter 3, but... You know, further down the line here, things should be ramping up as they uh, continue forward here. Subaru shows less than zero interest in Daitoku-san as he packs M45 away. Oh. I remember that completely wrong. She's also Subaru's upperclassman. That was a very weak hello. Subaru briefly glances at Daitoku-san, then bows his head slightly. They don't know each other all that much, do they? A beacon of hope? What? <laughs> well, this is awkward. <laughs> A little bit, yeah. He has zero social skills. The same could be said for all of them, really. Well, maybe except for Akiho. She's just kind of a bundle of energy. And people with people and people who have uh, a bundle of energy tend to have more social skills than someone who doesn't. <laughs> At least Akiho knows Daitoku-san. I'll just have to leave things to her. I'm about to call into the hangar when a strong gust of wind blows by. Uh, don't... <laughs> it's like, don't get blown away, Juna! Despite doing karate, the wind causes Daitoku-san to lose her balance. Normal people don't really tend to visit closed airports. <laughs> yeah. 
ただし今の時期は昼間に寝ると死ねるから気をつけて。Uh, I know. I swear, the things he says sometimes, I, I, I'm just like flabbergasted. And, and also a little confused, too. It's like, why would he say this? <laughs> Taking a nap there, or. Yeah, taking a nap there would feel nice. Yes. Dying, not so much. <laughs> Agio? What's wrong? <laughs> that kind of came out of nowhere. <laughs> as soon as I think I hear a shout. No, you did hear a shout. Agio comes dashing out of the hangar. She looks back and forth at me and Daituku san's faces、uh, like she's panicking. It's like, what's wrong here? What? <laughs> Akio. <laughs> This isn't what you think. Oh my god. What? <laughs> アキちゃん、何くだらないこと言ってんのえ、じゃあ、なんで She wanted to check out the robot club. d a i t u k u s a n curls up, but I urge her forward. It's like she's so shy and timid. It's like. It's like I just. I just want to give her a big hug. It's like she's that kind of character. It's like I just want to give her a big hug, tell her think everything's gonna be okay. It's like, say hello. Yeah. And of, or, and of course, Akiho would be excited with that. I mean, it's like, you know, potential new member. It's like, yes. <laughs> of course, Akiho would be excited about that. Akiho's smile covers what seems like her entire face as she grabs both of Daitoku san's hands firmly. Oh, you're not in the way, Juna. Not at all. It's like, <laughs> right now I am Akiho. So, I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. It's like, yeah, she would. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, come on, guys, stop ignoring Akiho. It's a little rude. Oh, Hobby Robot, do you know? I'm a Subaru got a little bit of 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 a l i t t Girls Alliance. <laughs> I thought she was gonna say have our own, you know, girl time, but Girls Alliance is a much better name. Gunte, Dareto t a t a k a t e r u n d e s k o I guess that's a fair question. Dance. <laughs> of course. <laughs> And of course, that's exactly the reaction I would expect from Subaru. <laughs> Absurd. 
Yeah, getting his backside now. Subaru coldly spits out his words, then starts messing with the program source code on his phone droid attached to M45. And there he goes. Off to his own little world. Dude just follows his own path. So do you, Kaito. No, Juna. No, you didn't. At least I hope so. Oh, not, oh, not always like that. Sometimes, but not always. Yeah. <laughs> right, he's the uh, silent member of the robot club. Pay no attention to him, Juna. He is the man behind the curtain. <laughs> Where's Toto when you need him? What? <laughs> パーツを加工するのにさ、あそこの設備をどうしても使わなきゃいけなくて。でもうち、実は毒から借金踏み倒しちゃうなんだ。顔合わせたら確実に日練り殺されちゃう。Why is Juna so far away? It's like she's at the edge of the screen. It's like moving a little closer, Juna. ひねり。というわけで、孫の大徳さんを盾にすれば、なんとかなるかなって。え、that's uh, a tall order, Akiho. And not a good uh that's not a good plan like at all. Uh, didn't you Try this exact same strap before Robo One and fall on your face. She, she did try this before, yes, <laughs> and it didn't work. Aki-chan ni wa hikyou mono to yu shougo o kuru yo. Mori, mori da kara. Ah, Juna, don't cry. Takagu-san enters full rejection mode. Uh, yeah, with her uh, fear of robots, it's like only Kaito knows about that. So, shouldn't Akiho be filled in about that? Her eyes are filled with tears as she desperately shakes her head from side to side. You didn't intrude, Juna. And you just got here. Don't you want to stay a while? Oh, Akio kind of scared her off. Aww. I mean, I I know Akio didn't mean to, but all the same, I I feel bad for not just Juna, but also Akio. It's like she she doesn't know. She doesn't know. Kaito needs to fill her in about her robophobia. <sighs> Good grief. Could Akio be any worse at trying to solicit people?
on that note, on that sad note, uh, I am actually going to stop it here for the time being. So we got a little bit of of an interesting perspective, you know, with switching to Misune of all people. That was unexpected. I I was not expecting her perspective, at least for a good, good while, anyway. But all the same, that was a a very uh, a welcome perspective at this point. So, and you know, I certainly hope that uh, next time. With uh, Juna and Akio, that things will be, uh, you know, smoothed out between them. <laughs> so I can only hope. Anyway, I hope you guys all enjoyed watching, and thank you all for watching as well. And if you enjoyed the video and want to see more, like, favorite, and subscribe to become part of the pack. And don't forget to claw that bell icon so you know when a new video comes out. And as always, everyone, have a great day or night, wherever you may be.